Hello lovelies, my name is Maddie and welcome to Madcraft 101. As many of you have probably figured out by now, I love playing with t-shirts. Making bags, scarves, blankets, just about anything I can out of an old t-shirt. And I was thinking of something different I could do because I know I've seen a lot of tutorials on how to make bags like this or like this, but I haven't seen many over the shoulder bags, just small enough to show off the design and hold what you need. Also, this bag is the perfect vacation size. It's awesome if you want to take it to Disney World or to the beach. It's small enough just to hold your cell phone, your camera, your wallet. Everything is packed into that one small space right around your shoulder. It's perfect. So I decided to try my trusty sewing skills, which aren't very great, but perfect for this little project. So today I'll be showing you how to make an over the shoulder purse. So what you're gonna need is some scissors, a t-shirt with some kind of cool design, or not, plain, whatever. And then you'll need all of your sewing materials, which for me is just a sewing needle and thread. So to start off, you're gonna wanna get it as straight as possible. Now all you have to do is cut in a nice square right around the design, just like so. And you will find on some shirts, the design is not completely centered, so it will get kinda tricky. You want to leave some room under the design because it'll be folded in just like a purse would be so some of that's going to be taken away all right so this is what we have now and it is still connected at the top so what you're going to want to do is flip it inside out and get everything matched up once again and now is when you can go ahead and grab your thread and needle and start sewing right along the line you need to leave at least an inch from the top to where you start sewing. So there's a little bit of a hole right here. Alrighty, I've gone all around here and I'm just going to tie it off and then turn it inside out or right side in, I don't know. So now we've got this awesome little purse. Alrighty, so now we're going to start the straps, which you can use from the same t-shirt or from a different one, whatever suits you. I'm going to simply do a three strand braid. You can do a five strand braid or you can use, you can use string, you can use ribbon, you can use whatever you want. I'm just deciding to use the t-shirt. So we have this left over. You can go ahead and cut it right down this side. All right, so now we have this super long fabric, which I'm going to cut in half. So now I'm gonna take one of the strips I just took in half and cut three strips out of it. So now we've got three pretty long strands and you just wanna stretch them out a little bit. Now a really simple thing to do is get the ends of all of them and go ahead and sew these ends together. All right, now that you've got that all sewed up, you can stick it under something just like so and start braiding. Alright, once you've got that all braided, you can tie it in a knot or you can sew it. You want to leave about an inch or so, so you can easily tie it or sew it onto the next part. So this is the first half of our strap. With the other half of the fabric, you're going to want to do the same thing, and I'll show you what to do after that. Alright, once you've got your two pieces of fabric all braided, you can sew them together or tie them together. All right, so now we've got them all tied together, sewed up together, and we've got this long thing. You can go ahead and measure it to make sure it's not too long, not too short. This is perfect for me. I've already measured it out. So now we can get our shirt. And because I tied these ends, I'm just gonna go right in the middle here and tie it underneath. And the same on this side. Let's stretch this out. And there you go. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up right down below. While you're down there, comment telling me if you enjoyed this tutorial or if you did anything to improve it. And as always, if you've made this and you want to take a picture of yourself styling it off because it's just so cute and you upload a picture to Instagram or Twitter, go ahead and tag me at JustMaddie16. I would love to see all your creations. Also, don't forget to subscribe for videos like this every week. I'll see you next time. Hello my lovelies, my name is Maddie and welcome to the Mad Crafter 101. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this awesome The Fall in Our Sky. I hope you enjoy. Alright, to do your nails you're going to need a purple nail polish, blue and black nail 